In this tutorial, we are going to talk about a very important hook, which is use effect. Understanding how the use effect hook works is one of the most important concepts in React today. Because React use effect is a function that gets executed for three different React component lifecycle. So it means this function is executed in three different ways. The React lifecycles are component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. So let's get started and see how we can use the use effect hook in the React application. So to understand use effect hook, let me create a very simple example. So inside this React application, I'm going to simply first import the use effect and use state from the React library. Now because use state is not a default export from React, I'm going to just import that inside this curly braces. After that, we create a function app, and inside this component, I'm going to simply call the use state. And to this use state, we specify hi there, how are you? Just after that, inside this app, I'm going to call the use effect hook. You can see how I call this use effect hook. I'm going to call use effect and inside this parenthesis, I'm going to call the handler function. So the use effect hook accept a function as its first argument. This function handler will take care of any side effect you like when it gets run. So I'm going to call here a simple handler function inside this use effect. Just after that, I'm simply going to return a division tag and a comment. And h1 heading tag with this comment value. Now let me save the changes and try to execute this. You can see inside the React application, you will get hi there, how are you? So you will get this value from this use state. Now when I open the console, then you can notice inside my console, I'm going to have here two statements. This is because we have React strict mode as a wrapper to the app component. If you back to the index.js of your React application, then you will notice here in the latest version, you're going to have a wrapper to your main app component. So if you remove this React strict mode right from here, something like this, then you're only going to get one statement as a response. You can see. Now this strict mode statement is going to activate the additional checks and warning for its descendant nodes because app should not crash in the case of bad practice in the code. We can say strict mode is a safety check to verify the component twice to detect an error. Just for now, for this example, I'm going to remove that and I'm going to back to my example. So this is the exact result of use effect. This will call the component did mount and you will get your response in the console. So whenever the component is mounted in the UI, you will get this message. If I reload the browser, you're going to get the same result because when you reload the browser, the component gets mounted in the UI and you will get this response in the console. Every time the component gets mounted in the UI, the use effect hook will going to execute. So this is the first way you can use use effect hook in the React application. Let's talk about the next one. In the next one, you can use a use effect hook just like you use component did update in the React class component. Now let's suppose that you have reply button inside your UI, something like this. And to this reply button, you have this handler function. And let me create this comment handler at the top. So right up here, just out of this use effect. Here, I'm going to create that comment handler. Now let me save the changes and click on this reply. It's going to change the value of this UI. This is because when I click on this button, it's going to call this set command and change the value of this comment variable. But you can notice inside the console, you're also going to get this message, trigger use effect hook. So this is also going to execute the use effect hook. This is because behind the scene, Use effect hook is going to dispatch an action when there is a change inside the state or inside the component property. So use effect hook will always execute when you change the state or the component properties. When we click on this on submit button, it's going to change the value of the state and then the use effect hook is going to trigger. If you want to avoid this and execute use effect hook only once when the component gets mounted, you can just pass a second argument to the use effect hook. For example, Let's suppose that when you click on this button click, you don't want to execute this use effect. In that case, you can pass here a comma and pass a second argument. You pass here empty array. Let me save the changes and show the result first. Let me save this, load my browser. You can see the use effect hook is now executed because the component is mounted in the UI. Just after that, when you click on this button, you can see this is going to change the value of this comment, but it's not going to execute this use effect hook. This is because we tell React that I don't want to execute this use effect hook on any changes of React state and properties. Now, just out of that, let's suppose you have two state in the component and you only want to execute use effect hook when the first state changes. Let's suppose if I have another state with the variable comment2, set comment2 and some values here. And for the second command, I'm also going to have the handler function and a button. When you click on this reply2 button, I'm going to execute this second handler function. Now this handler function is going to change the value of this comment 2. 
and I'm also going to print this comment too, just out of this H1 heading tab. Now let me save the changes and show you the result. Let me reload the browser. Now when I click on this reply, it's going to change the value of this first comment like this. And when I click on the second reply, it's going to change the value of this second comment. But what I want when I click on this post reply button, I want to execute this use effect hook. I only want to execute this use effect hook when I click on this first button. So what we can do is we can pass this command to this array right here. So this is going to tell React that execute this use effect hook whenever the value of this command changes. Let me show you the result. Save the changes, reload the browser. When I click on this reply to, it's not going to execute this use effect hook. But when I click on this reply, you can see this is going to execute this use effect hook. So this is the second React component lifecycle, which is component did update. Now let's talk about the third one, which is component will unmount. Let me create a very simple example inside this project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create app component, and inside this, here I have use state with the value true. And inside this use effect hook, I'm just going to console.log a message. After that, I have here a comment handler and inside this return statement, I'm going to call div if the command return true, then call this remove me component. Otherwise, do not return anything. This out of that, we have here a button. When we click on this button, I'm going to change the value of this comment using this handler function. And when I scroll down, you can see I have here a function remove me. This is just a simple React component. When I save the changes, now, when you execute this statement, it's going to trigger use effect hook when the component is mounted in the UI. When you click on this reply button, it's going to change value of this state, and then the use effect hook will also going to execute. But what I want when the component is unmounted from the UI, I want to execute this use effect hook. In that case, you need to return another function from this use effect. So, right inside this, here I'm going to return another function, something like this. And inside this function, I'm going to say console.log unmount. Let me save the changes. And now you can see when the component is mounted, you will get this response. But when I click on this reply button, you're going to get two responses inside a console. Let me explain this. This use effect hook is not going to execute this console.log. Instead, it's going to execute this function because now the component is unmounted from the UI. So we will have this message unmounted. And then the use effect hook is also going to trigger when the component is updated. So as you know, when you unmount some component from the UI, React need to update that current component. So in that case, the use effect hook is going to execute this console.log message. So I hope you understand three different ways you can use use effect hook in the React application. So I hope you understand how to work with the use effect hook. Let's understand the next React hook.